Hey guys, my name is Brad. I was an RA this past year, and now I'm interning for Res Life. And I'm here to tell you guys that being an RA was the hardest job in the entire world. Makes you want to cry, quit, not do it. I mean, you have to listen to residents all the time. Residents talk behind your back. You have to bust people. You have to walk in on things. This job is not for the lighthearted. And hey, well, if you don't believe me, well, listen to some of these other past RAs talk about their experience. Hi, my name is Jana, and I was an RA on Second Beanstra. Being an RA was one of the hardest things because it was time consuming, it was stressful, it was challenging. It took a lot out of you, it made you tired, it made you weak, it made you want to cry. Hi guys, it's Leah. Um, I was an RA last year, I think some of you know that. But um, I'm here to tell you that being an RA, being an RA can really suck. Like, it can, it can just be tough and not that fun sometimes. Like, there's on in, and so you're stuck in the dorm, and all your friends are out hanging out. Not being able to do some of the naughty things that you usually would do, would do because you're an example to the students, that's not very fun. You have to walk around the dorms two to three times a night, um, checking in and making sure that people have Calvin locks, and um, if they don't have Calvin locks, then you have to walk in and it's awkward and tell them to stop making out and to open up their door. It's not that fun. But somehow, even with all those bad things that happen as an RA, we're all still alive and here, helping you guys. So there must have been something positive about the experience. Will you fight? No! We will run! And we will live! Shame on you! This could be the greatest night of our lives. You're gonna let it be the worst. And I guarantee a week won't go by in your life. You won't regret walking out, letting them get the best of you. Well, I'm not going home. We've got too far! And I'm gonna stay right here and fight for this lost cause. A day may come when the courage of men fails. But it is not this day. The line must be drawn here. This far, no farther. I'm not saying it's gonna be easy. You're gonna work harder than you ever worked before. But that's fine, we'll just get tougher with it. If a person grits his teeth and shows real determination. Failure is not an option. That's how winning is done. Believe me when I say, we can break this army here. And win just one for the giver. But I say to you, what every warrior has known since the beginning of time, you've got to get mad. I mean plum mad dog mean. If you would be free men, then you must fight to fulfill that promise. They just cut out their living guts one inch at a time. And they will know what we can do. <laughs> Let no man forget how menacing we are. We are lions. You're like a big bear, man. This is your time. Seize the day. Never surrender. Victory or death. Bitch, they should back away. Who's with me? Clap. Clap. Go, my team guy. Clap. All right, let's fly. And gentlemen in England, now a bed. Oh no! My name is the law! But I tell our enemies that they may take our lives, but they'll never take our Independence Day! Hi, my name is Samsa and I will be the Vice President of the Student Body this coming fall. I was an RA in NV Dub when Aaron Einfeld was, no, actually he's still there. Um, yeah, and I, I, I can tell you that you've been given uh, limitless possibilities to have an incredible impact um, on someone else's life. And I remember like last year, um, guys on my floor would come up to me and say, Hey, Sam, thank you for all the work that you did. Um, really appreciate it. 
and uh, it was really um, great to hear that from somebody. And but the thing is, they told me after I was done with the work. So um, hope you have this great endurance uh, and motivation throughout the year um, to hear that after, or maybe um, if you're lucky, you'll hear that during um, while you're in RA. So thank you. Hey guys, this is Nana. I currently working with Orientation Board, and I served as a resident assistant last year. I really want you to know that I'm very grateful for what you do. Hey, my name is Steven Panaggio. Um, I really appreciated uh, my RA um, because he really did a really good job of bridging the gap between an authority and a friend figure. Um, I really felt like he was a friend, but he was also a leader in the dorm. So thank you for what you guys do. Hey, RAs. Uh, my name is Brad Zwiers. I lived in the dorm for two years. And I really appreciated the work the RAs that I had did and they really encouraged me to get involved with the floor and that was something that I needed and it turned out really great and I had a great time both of you. Um, my name is Annie Nicholson and I was just going to say the best like, thing that I really did appreciate about my RA was actually I'm still in contact with her but she just came into our room all the time and just wanted to talk to us and just put herself out there and she really made me feel like welcome and have a friend on campus, so she was always super excited to see me. So thanks for what you guys do. Hi RAs, thank you guys for stepping up and taking a leadership role on campus. Our, my RAs made a big difference for my dorm life for the two years or year and a half that I lived there, um, with being good friends but also being role models and people that I could respect. So thank you for taking that leadership position and know that you'll make a difference in many lives. My name is Patrick Ozichow. I was an RE on Second Heisinger um, in my sophomore year. And I have this to tell you guys. What you're about to do might be hard. It might take a lot out of you, but just know that through that you would also benefit by building character and that would take you a long way. So um, stay strong and hey, be patient on the kids, alright? And thanks for doing what you do. This is Sam Schuess. I've been teaching in the engineering department here at Calvin and I was an RA about eight years ago in RVD. I was on 3rd Van Dellen and I just wanted to give you guys a note of encouragement as you get started for this year that, um, that you try to juggle everything that you can this year between learning all the names and academics um, keeping your friends who have moved off campus, trying to juggle all of that can be a lot, but I just encourage you to, um, to be in the dorms when you can, to keep your door open, to um, spend a lot of time, um, even on the weekends, weeknights, um, spend a lot of time with the students and they'll appreciate the effort that you put in. So have a great year. Hi, my name is Becky and I'm the RD in Schulte Eldersville. I'm excited for you to become an RA. Uh, you do make a difference in people's lives, even if it's just you have one year with them, but a lot of times your interactions really do impact people and they may or may not ever tell you. So just know you do make a difference. So speaking as a former RA um, and as a person who has worked with many wonderful RAs who are awesome people out in the world doing wonderful things, I can't stress enough how important your job is and how grateful we are for the work that you do. Um, sometimes it's a thankless job, sometimes it's a difficult job, but I think that it's always a rewarding job and it's just amazing, it's an amazing thing to be a part of. So you should be very excited that you've chosen this journey and uh, I think I speak on behalf of all of residents Life that we are very excited that you're a part of this greater call and count. RAs, uh, hi, Chris Klein here. And I used to be an RD, and then I retired, and now I play golf professionally and I drive race cars. But when I'm not doing those things, um, there's a few things that you should know because I talk to people now. And these are people who have lived in residence halls and have gone to Calvin College. And these people say that um, as much as people like me who are retired RDs, um, think that they're kind of influential in students' lives, the people that actually create change. In the lives of students are those who know their names, and um, RAs know students' names, and that matters. So thank you for knowing students' names when I couldn't know their name. 
uh, or don't know their name, or when Jolyn or John or Shirley doesn't know their name. Um, you know their name, and that matters, because people who know people's names help them feel like they're at home. And we want students to feel like this is their home. So thank you for knowing their names. Hey, what's up, gang? Um, thank you very, very much for being an RA uh, this year. Uh, I was an RA for seven semesters uh, at Grand Valley, and uh, it was one of the greatest experiences ever. Um, I guess one of my most memorable experiences there was uh, being being an RA. Uh, my first day, the student didn't want to see me, didn't want to come near me at all. Um, I was guessing it was because I'm a big black guy, and she was, you know, the white girl from uh, the stick somewhere. But she saw me, and she was like, "No way, I'm not going anywhere near that guy." I invited her out to like. I don't know, five or ten different programs that year. She never showed up, but I would always invite her and always talk to her and eventually broke the ice. And at the end of the year, she came up to me and, uh, you know, I was like, you know, bye-bye, I'll see you, you know, I'll, hopefully I'll see you again, you know, sometime. And, and she said, you know, thank you. And I'm like, thank you, you know, for what? She was like, well, because of you, I'm not scared of black people anymore. And that, you know, really hit me. I'm like, wow, you know, I, I thought you know, maybe I'm, I'm just an RA. You know, I didn't really understand the impact I had. So... Please know what kind of impact you have. You are so important. Your job is so important. And we rely on you, and we're here to support you. So thank you very, very much for what you do, and all the best this year. Let us know if you need us.